Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. If uh, last time we were busy bees getting uh, bridges and roadblocks uh, solved and uh, allowing us easier access across this little map area here, uh, today we're going to be heading out and seeing what this truck upgrade is here. It's uh, shaded, but it is like a truck, so I'm pretty sure it's an upgrade or something. Um, and we're going to be taking out our um, Chevrolet CK1500, which we're going to be... Did we customize this already? Yeah, I think we put on the Snow Runner upgrade, which uh, should improve our uh, low range traction through mud and stuff, which is a good thing because we will have a lot of mud and stuff in that area. Uh, I'm level 4 now, I'm wondering if anything gets unlocked at level 4. I kind of would want like mud tires or stuff, but I need a suspension, right? Do I have? Can I get a different suspension? Raised. Explore Michigan, USA to find this item. Well, um, Michigan, USA is like three maps. I'm uncertain if it's on the map I'm currently on. It's, I'm not really sure. But uh, I'd like to get this at some point so I can get like mud tires and stuff on it. But either way. Um, Yeah, most of the cool stuff here is um, um, locked. Uh, I, I should probably go back to my uh, stock winch. Mm, I, I use the autonomous scout in case my you know engine seized up. Actually, no. Let's, let's keep it because that's water, and hmm, that may seize my engine if I just go too deep. Um, but on that note, I should on that note I should probably just get a snorkel for this. That'd be smart. Yeah, especially if I'm gonna be doing this, might as well. I I'm, I don't have the money to waste for this, but really, let's just get this done. Okay, cool. We snorkeled up our car. Uh, we already have a route set up, so let's uh, head to it. Room. This is so nippy after uh, playing uh, a fair bit with uh, the huge fleet star truck. As usual, welcome to SnowRunner and uh, we get stuck in things and trash the car at the beginning of the episode just so we have something to worry about for the rest of the episode. Oh no, 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 not winch. Why'd I winch that? Come on, come on, get through it. Just a little bit of mud. And we're stuck, aren't we? Let's try wiggling the wheels, see if we can get some extra traction. And we are. And honestly, I'm not sure why I'm not using the low range thing. Might as well. If I... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have options now. We have low range low and low range high. Alright. I don't think any of these actually help us. Hmm. Okay, let's... Release it.
man, I wish, I just entirely wish uh, there was a better route out of my base towards the southern section that doesn't involve... And yeah, I think... Ugh. <sighs> doesn't involve me going through this area, which is horrid. Uh, having like three low ranges now confuses me a bit. <laughs> Usually I just go, yeah, okay, it's muddy low, low range, but now I don't know. Do I want high low range or I want low low range? Okay, the way, let's go back to auto. Oop, nope, nope, nope. Close. Let's just power through this as much as I can. I didn't notice it's often just smarter to stick on the high gear. If you have enough inertia just to go through it. Okay, so we're reaching this point where we actually have to dive in. Ooh, easy there. Oh, actually, probably wanna crash. Let's try obliquing this a bit. Uh, lovely. Okay, on the bright side. This is exactly why I got that uh, autonomous winch. Room. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't... Uh... Oh wow, this is deep. It's a good thing I didn't uh, switch out the winch. Actually, this has been slightly easier than I thought it would be. And then I got stuck. Me and my big mouth. Okay, can I... Do I have enough range for that? Nope, I do not. That's wonderful. Let's try this. I do say, Watson, we are entirely stuck here. Well, we are inching our ways through. Okay, this works. More speed out of the high range. Okay, should I just go auto for this? Yeah, auto does about the same thing, but no, that stucks me in. Okay, this should be just enough. Actually, by this point, I think I have enough range. Do I? Uh, I have enough range for that. closer I can actually anchor myself on that. You cannot see this, but I am wiggling my wheels. 
under that water, hoping that uh, it's gonna inch us forward just enough. And that was enough. Cool. Oh, starting engine. Okay. I need to get to you more than I need you to get to me. Round heavy truck discovered. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, wow. No, for sure I cannot do this with this. Well, I can give it a shot. Might as well if I'm here, you know? Might as well. Um, let's release the winch. Let's use a normal low range. And actually, let's skip time a bit, just so we can have a bit of uh, daytime. So we can see things. Is there a better option? Not going through that middle of that horrible muck which I did. Um, yeah, I guess I can go via that route. That should be better. Oops, sorry for that. On the bright side, this is fueled. But I think I'm getting entirely over-optimistic. I mean, for sure, this is not gonna work. I mean, seriously, I'm not even dragging. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. Um, let's let's stop this. Let's uh, release that winch. I was hoping it's an upgrade, not a task, but oh well. Um, So, uh, are we... What are we gonna do now? We can try... Getting... Another truck here. Getting the Fleet Star down here. And giving this a run, but... This doesn't look... All that, uh, easy to do. And where do I need to get this? Oh, back at the farm. Oh my god, the farm guy. Stop get, stop losing trucks. Does he does he just lose trucks in mud and go like, oh, okay, I'm gonna buy a new one. <laughs> Off-road truck is recommended. Yeah, I know. I don't really have any off-road trucks. I think the Kodiak is an off-road truck, but um, the problem with it is that I don't have the differential. Sorry, the all-wheel drive on it, which is vital. Well, anything else we have available to do? Because I don't want to spend another 30 minutes getting a truck down here and getting that out. Um, we can totally see if we can get this la last watchtower. Is that the last watchtower? No, we have two more. So yeah, let's, um, let's get these last two watchtowers. And to do that, well, let's do a recover. Actually, um, would it be cheating if I go like refuel? Uh, uh no, uh, wrong way around. Okay, and now recover. Slightly cheating. Okay, and then uh, let's head out. What's the path to get up there? Probably I can do this side. Hmm, actually, did I not have this level of... What, what, 
was just the stock gearbox uh, fully, you know, kind of fully auto. Because I don't think I remember being able to switch voluntarily to the high gear. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll uh, keep that in mind for the other trucks. And is the high gear lower than my auto gear? Yeah, it is somehow. Yeah, I guess just because I um, put in the off road engine. Well, not the off road engine, but the off road um, gearbox. Let's not get stuck in the mud here. I mean, that, that wasn't even mud, that was just dirt. Wet dirt. Which is called mud. <laughs> Please, thank you. just stopped. <laughs> Watchtower we're aiming for. I think we should be taking the left here. Screech! Bouncy, bouncy. Just not go through that. How about it? Now let's just uh, head up the best that we can. Okay, let's. Okay, 
auto low doesn't really help us that much. Sorry, uh, the low gears of the auto. a nosedive if I ever saw one uh, yeah just head uh, straight anything else that I can see weird on the map here no thanks and there we go watchtower Watchtower opened. <laughs> I'm not sure opened is the right word here, but might as well. Okay. Anything we saw here? Well, we have an upgrade. Cool. So we can actually probably get that upgrade on our way to the um, other watchtower. Let's just head here. Here. Here and here. That should be roughly it. Room. This person actually climbing the set. Oh wow. This is rocky. At three fourths of uh out of gearbox. I guess it lowers the gearing altogether when you get the off-road, whatever, snowrunner gearbox. So your entire range is more torquey and less high-speedy. I'm just uh, literally guessing. Okay, now let's uh, low gear this. This. Oh, never mind. That works. I was slipping more than I would have wanted to slip. This is a bit tricky. Let's not fall down the mountain, shall we? That'd be nice. I said let's not fall down the mountain. Oh man. Ugh. Okay, do I have anything to grapple? Nope, I don't. Uh, can I go? I guess that might be smarter. But let's try going a lot of left. There we go. Perfect. use that rock there to brace my car chassis this little tiny cottage here which gives us an raised oh wow uh, the raised suspension for the truck cool so uh, I can actually get um, get the um, oh just for this truck <laughs> okay uh, so I can actually get the wheels uh, tires actually sweet 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 okay let's uh try and do something horrible head down this mountain and actually let's go via yeah let's let's actually check oh i can't i can't 
let's check what this little gray area here, here is. There should be a, uh, a route that takes us there, so we don't actually go through the city. Not that I have anything against the city, but I uh, might as well unlock some extra things, because um, I'm pretty sure that Watchtower will not unlock that area. Okay. No, 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 bad car, bad car. Okay, let's do this. And I'm totally tilting my head at the monitor right now. Let's uh, be smart. Let's put a brace on a tree here, so we make sure we don't... Oh, that kind of worked, I guess, maybe, kind of, sort of. We're not tipped over, so that's good. I'm pretty sure we broke that tree, but oh well. Okay, let's park and break this, and let's see if we can totally easily and chilly slide down here without wrecking our car. Yay, I'm drifting! Stranger to a tree, but drifting nonetheless. I'm not sure if, you know, regular braking is better than the parking brake, but I think uh, the parking brake should be better because it, uh, I think it affects all wheels. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I do own a car and I do drive. <laughs> Uh, but I can be excused for uh, not knowing fully the entire intricacies of uh, car mechanics, especially in a game which can or cannot be less or more realistic than uh, the real life counterpart. It's a car, is this an upgrade? No, because it doesn't have the salvage thing on the top. Oh, there's actually something here. Cool. Let's visit that. And I don't know if I'm if I got them better with the truck or hey, it's an upgrade. Cool. I don't know if I got them better with the truck or the upgrades actually did anything. I don't think I did any significant upgrades, but I really like how um, it handles now. Oh, speaking of, AT V8 5.2 custom, complete overhaul of the original design, raw, unadulterated power, only rivaled by its own fuel consumption. Bring spare gas. We will, thank you. Which works just for the Chevrolet, Chevrolet CK1500. Cool, awesome. So we're getting uh, this thing really pimped out. That sounds great. Because I wasn't really hyped about... <coughs> Sorry. I wasn't really hyped about the buying... Um, a new scout truck. I'm pretty sure my money should be going... Well, not that I actually have it, but... Because a new truck costs like 38000 or something. Like a lot. But where I'd have the money, I would rather spend it on a good off-road truck. Get me to those really bad sections. Rather than uh, on a scout truck, which, give or take... I mean, there's a lot of flexibility there. You don't really need to use this, uh, some routes. You don't really need to go through some places. We can actually you know, sidestep them. But when you actually need to get like two hauls of metal pipes through uh, one exact area, yeah, well. Also, I completely lost my track. Where, where should I be going? Uh, I think they should connect at some point, so should I just go north okay that sounds like a good plan I'm wondering whether um, you have some watchtowers which unlock other watchtowers maybe I don't think so you should have all the watchtowers available at start But uh, either way, it's a good thing I'm uh, 
reaching out and finding some of these more hidden areas, getting some of those upgrades. If nothing else, I'll clear out this map and know where the other upgrades are on the other maps just by a matter of exclusion. Because, well, if it's not in Michigan this map, it's in Michigan another map. Okay, so we have a little something here. Let's check that out. Does it look like a warehouse or something? No, it's just a... Uh, well, it's definitely a thing. Probably has a task, task for us. Side repair. Our river fleet was badly damaged, and the only person who can help us is all the equipment. Can you supply our guy with the tools she needs to patch up, up, patch us up? Deliver the boatman house. Service parts. Oh wow, that. Oh, yeah. So I need two service parts. That's a truckload and wooden planks, which I'm. I'm I don't remember. <laughs> Honestly, don't remember. And I need to get them to the boatman house. Boatsman's house. Well, the source part, for sure, I think I can only get them from here. So, that's going to be a long haul. And for sure, for that, I'm going to need to... Well, not for sure, but I want to get the wooden bridge solved before any of that. Which I'm probably going to do that in the next episode. It's a quick job. Um, either way, let's uh, let's go back. We see, I see we have a straight route here. Let's get that final watchtower. Actually, can I accept the task? Will accepting this task... Oh no, it just adds it down here. Oh, cool. So, there is something to be said about... Yeah, for sure. I mean, ugh, it would suck to... Yeah, literally, you have to go here, accept the task, and only then can you do the deliveries, like we've seen in the first episode. So, I think it's wise... For some of these, you know, where you where they're not straight up, you accept the task at the destination, where you should get them uh, originally from the spot with like a scout truck, and only then you know, get your other truck and do the delivery. Slightly annoying, to be honest. I wasn't gonna use mods this early, but I'm thinking of maybe seeing if there's a mod for that. Just accepting tasks from anywhere. Okay, I have a very vague feeling it's a smarter option to go not through that. Uh, this isn't any better? Okay, sure. used high low gear hmm through that. So this is a... Oh, that actually is from pretty solid ground. Cool. Okay, let's get this done. Drainage discovered, stuck trader discovered, rock slide discovered. New objective discovered. This is entirely superfluous, but I'm still doing it. And let's check. Oh wow, a fair bit of things opened up. Gateway to Smithville Dam. Oh, okay, so this is uh, the road out of here. We have a trailer store there. We have a stock trailer. We have a rock slide to rep repair here. Metal beams and one service parts ish. The drainage is. It's time to drain the swamps. We installed some simple pumps, 
They may be a bit old, but they should see if you can find them. Oh, so this is get there and activate the thing. Ah, cool. So we have a pump exactly here. Cool, 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 cool. Exactly near that uh, drown truck we are going to be taking out at some point. Stuck trailer. And missing oil tank. Deliver to here. That. Okay. I wonder why that was new. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, we have a fair bit of options for next time. I'm not entirely sure what we're, we're going to be doing. Uh, probably we're going to be uh, repairing this bridge and uh, getting that out of the way and done. And seeing what the hell is here because we haven't really unlocked this. Maybe we have like get some XP from trailers found and something like that. Anyways. Uh, that was about it for today. Hope you guys had uh, as much fun as I had slumping it around the entire map with my uh, Chevrolet. Uh, this was Cosmo. Again, uh, if you like this episode, click like, subscribe, all that good uh, YouTube stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.